Well, I don't know what else to say that hasn't been said, but I think it's pretty obvious after all of the evidence has been presented now, we can very clearly see if you didn't already know that this was never a case about seeking justice. This was never a case about prosecuting an actual crime. This was never a case about protecting the citizens of the city of New York. This is a case about politics, pure and simple. And it is such a shame, as someone who used to live in this city, to see the top law enforcement officer in the city of New York, Alvin Bragg, sitting up in that courtroom, knowing all the resources he pulled together, all the time, all the taxpayer money in this city that was spent to go into this case when, as Eric just noted, you have crime sky high, people being pushed in front of subways, women getting punched in the face in broad daylight in this city, anti-Semitism spewing out of our universities right here in New York City. They're not caring about any of those crimes. They're not pursuing any of those crimes. They care about this, which we know is not a crime. They have not proven anything to be a crime whatsoever, and they will not. Because at the end of this, we all know what it is about. And to the jury, when they realize these people who have wasted five weeks of their time in there, that they have been part of a political game, as New Yorkers, I'm pretty sure they're gonna be upset about it. This is not the United States of America if this is successful. This is Banana Republic type stuff. And if they can profit off it on the other side, so can we. DonaldJTrump.com, if you wanna to contribute to help Donald Trump become the 47th president of the United States. They cannot succeed, they will not su succeed. We will continue to fight alongside my father-in-law, our 45th and I believe 47th president for what we know is true and right. Thank you. After watching the